Alright, time for another math easy solution. Today we're going to discuss uh, well, basically some derivative notations and also look at a brief biography of Lebanus, which is uh, he's done a lot for calculus. So basically, if we have y equals f of x, then the derivative can be written as f prime. So you could write it as this. And this basically means y prime. So you could also write it like this. And you could also write in Lebanese notation, I'll explain that in a bit, which is dy over dx. And this, I'll put these equal signs, just meaning they're all the same. You could also write df over dx, the same thing, so using the derivative of f in terms of x right here. Or you could write it as d over dx of now this full of this f of x right here. So you could write it like this. Or you could even write it as d and then f of x right here. So you just put the big D right there, or you could even have dx f of x here to indicate that the derivative in terms of x, you could just leave it out of, if it's only one variable, it just means derivative in terms of x right here. That's the only variable you can do derivative on. And now basically if I scroll down here, I have some notes, uh, some useful notes here. Uh, so basically the symbols d and d over dx are called differentiation operators because they basically indicate the operation of differentiation, and this is in this case the uh, basically derivative of of f in terms of uh, x right here. That's x always at the bottom in this case, and basically it's just process of calculating the derivative. And also the simple dy over dx was first introduced by Lebanese uh, Lebanese. I think that's how you pronounce it. Basically it's just a synonym synonym or basically the same means the same thing as f prime of x or the derivative, and it's referred to as Lebanese notation. And it's very useful and suggestive because it just looks it it looks like it should be right and and also and useful and especially in when you look at higher uh, calculus when you get into that you'll see a lot of this uh, Lebanese notation and also the definition of derivative if you were to write it in Lebanese notation you could write dy over dx this equals to limit as basically delta x approaches to zero. If you were to use this uh, delta x uh, way of writing derivative, uh, delta y over delta x right here. So this is basically the slope as <clears throat> as basically delta x goes to zero. And as you can see, it suggests that the derivative is basically dy over dx, or the d could be referred to as a very small delta x right here. I and mean, yet a very small change. So basically, uh, when you go infin infinitely small change divided by infinitely small uh, x change in the x-axis, you could basically get the slope or the instantaneous slope, and that's that's what I mean by suggest suggestive. It just looks like it should be uh, right. And also, if we want <clears throat> to indicate the value of a derivative uh, dy over dx in Lebanese notation at a specific number uh, a, so if we have it, let's say at a number a, we can write basically yeah we could just write it as dy over dx and put an arrow down at x equals to a or we could have the same thing dy over dx but we could have a bracket like this instead of a straight line x equals a right here and this just means a derivative at a which is a synonym or it just means the same thing at f prime of a so that you could write it as that right here so derivative where x equals to a Okay, yeah, now I'm going to go over uh, actually a brief biography of Lebanus just because of this was in my calculus book and he's a pretty uh, pretty smart guy and really important in calculus so it's uh, good to go over a brief bio on him. So basically uh, his full name is Gottfried Wilhelm Lebanus and he was born in Leipzig, Germany in, in 1646 and he basically studied law, theology, philosophy and mathematics so he did a lot of stuff at the university there in Leipzig and he graduated with a bachelor's degree at age 17 that's uh, well he's pretty pretty uh, smart as, especially as a kid there I, I think I graduated high school then and basically after earning his doctorate in law at age 20 yeah so once again he's a really smart guy uh, spent a lot of time in school but anyways um, Lebanon has entered a diplomatic service and spent most of his life traveling to the capitals of Europe on pol political missions, so he, he didn't do too much mathematics yet. And in particular, he worked to avert uh, basically a French mi military threat against Germany, and he even attempted to reconcile the Catholic and Protestant churches. And basically, his uh, serious study of mathematics did not begin until 1672, and so he was about 26 years old 
while he was basically on a, on a diplomatic mission in Paris. And there he actually built a calculating machine, and he met scientists like uh, Huygens. I'm not sure he is, but he's probably uh, another smart guy. Basically, he directed his attention to the latest developments in mathematics and science, probably because of this uh, calculating machine, probably see how it worked on higher mathematics. And Lebanese also sought to develop a symbolic logic and system of notation that would simplify logical reasoning. And in particular, the version of calculus that he published in 1684, yeah, which is, uh, I think he's about 38 years old right here, 38 years, but years old. Because if he's at uh, 26 here at 72, at, at 12, so around 38. And he established the notation rules for finding derivatives that we use today. So basically, he published uh, his version of calculus, and we still use that notation and his, his rule for finding derivatives all today, even basically all the way till now, 2013. But unfortunately, a uh, uh, priority uh, dispute arose in the 1690s, so around when he's in his 40s, mid 40s, basically. Uh, between the followers of Newton and Lebanese as to who had invented calculus first right here. And basically calculus, I mean Lebanese was even accused of by plagiarism, plagiarism by members of the Royal Society in England, but the truth is that each man invented calculus independently. And basically Newton arrived at his version of calculus first, but because of fear of controversy, did not publish it immediately. Basically, uh, he, he was, what Newton was proposing was different from all the all the mathematics and science that was then and and it is it is a big deal of controversy when you go against uh, the norm but basically uh, so he he had his first but Lebanese his 1684 account was first to be published and this one is more widely used his notation is especially so uh, anyways it's all for today hopefully you'll learn from this uh, brief uh, history lesson on Lebanese and somewhat on Newton and also on this notation especially Lebanese notation which I'll be using a lot in later videos well anyways remember you can download these exact notes in the Dropbox link below and yeah thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution